Hey guys, we are going to a barrel race. It's been a while, so I am excited and I'm sure you're excited. I try to plan strategically what races just who's going to and the person that gives me lessons is going so it'd be a nice place. I, it's not far away, not a long haul, and the dirt is usually good, so it's a good place for the king. And someone else is running to go. Like I mentioned, the person that gives me lessons is going to be here, so... We'll see how they go tonight, and let's go get the horses. Also, don't judge me. This is not the full outfit. I will change before I run, but it is super hot, okay? I'm already sweating. Hello, Chester. I'm hoping a run will be good for I'm hoping a run will be good for his head. You're not going, but hold on. Say bye, babe. Jump in by Eddie. Thank you. Over here. I have the camera over here. So dramatic. You got and this is, I have the camera right here. If you'd come over here, you'd be in the camera. You gonna chase me? Everybody's begging for food, but Scout's hair is terrible, so we'll have to work on that when we get there. I'm gonna haul Chester in this plain halter that we won instead of the nice halter that has his name because I'm scared he will ruin it in the trailer, so I'll wear this one there and switch it when we get there so he looks all pretty, but I don't want him rubbing the conchos or anything on that halter in the trailer. I am making Scott a hay bag to hang at the trailer. He can get pretty nervous and fidgety and this just keeps him nice and happy, so I will wait and give it to him when we get there and then I go to put it in the tack room and the tack room is a huge, gigantic, terrible, terrible mess, so here is a time lapse of me fixing this terrible mess so I can get in there, walk around, and we'll actually be able to grab my tack and everything when we do get to the race. I also pack all of these helmets because I love to have options and I will decide last minute what color I want to go with tonight. Scout is very gross. Hi, Chester. Um, so, I will have to hurry and get him looking good when we get there. He loves to roll in mud all day, every day. That's smooth with him. Also going to slip some bell boots on Chester really, really quick. Uh, too hot for the shaving boots, and I think he's decided he absolutely will not wear them. <laughs> so we're just doing bell boots today. Chester, He's outside somewhere. I also have to give him my members all. I get him caught. Chester. Come here. Come on. He's easy to give him a all too though. It's not too bad. I gave them a off camera. 
Can you ride around? Okay, we made it to the barrel race. I've changed to be a little more presentable. And we get Chester's salt block. I already gave Scout his hay bag and then get to grooming them. Or especially Scout, because Scout runs first and he looks rough. He looks very rough, so let's get to that. I actually, oh my god, this one. I actually forgot to put on this halter and a quick release thing, so we're gonna go do that. <laughs>
It was too dark for me to video anything, but I got him back to the trailer and got all of that tack off and then I was just stunned by how shiny he was. So I took this video and of course he got a bucket of water and then some alfalfa to snack on until we left to go home. ready for dinner. Oh, they turned all the lights off on us. When they 
get to their cells, they both have dinner waiting for them. We soak some alfalfa for Chester and then go grab all the electrolytes to give them because we always give them electrolytes. After a race, um, Chester got third in the open 1D and we won the adult, so not bad at all for our first run back in a month and with me making some little rider errors there, so I'm very proud of him. shout out to Reed and Leah Marie. Make sure you're subscribed and turn your notifications on for a chance to be shouted out. <laughs> 